Hi everyone, Bea here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the extra page template block. So what is a page template? A page template is a custom design that can be applied to a page or a group of pages when using WordPress backend. Whenever you drag out this block, you will get some tips that will help you understand how to use this block. So I'm just going to go over this a bit fast. So you can add as many extra page templates as you want. What you have to do is drag your page elements inside this blue container. And don't worry, this blue container will disappear once you export your site into WordPress. You won't be using the customizer to assign this page template to your WordPress page. We'll do this under page attributes. You can find this in the WordPress page control panel. I will show you later on how to do this. And when you drag out this block, you will find an optional block inside it that you can use is the page template content that will show the content of your page in any area of your design. So you can read these tips again whenever you drag out the extra page template block. Okay. This is the block. Remember that you can hide and show. You can actually place this anywhere here in themes generator, but I like to be neat. I like everything organized, even though this won't show in this exact place on the home page. I like to, I'm going to scroll it down. I'm going to place it here on top of theme styles. So to save time, I'm going to use some pre-styled blocks. I'm going to drag out a hero image and get rid of the text here. And here I'm going to delete this text. So now this page template content, I'm going to, I'm going to move it inside this box, inside this blue box. It already comes inside a container. This container I'm going to show you here. It has a max width of 1200 pixels. So we've added this container so your content doesn't overflow and occupy the whole screen, just so it will look nicer inside a, a container with a maximum width of 1200 pixels. Of 1200 pixels. Right now, I don't need that because my container is going to be smaller. I'm just going to drag out this block and bring it, drag it here. This container, I'm going to just delete it because this page template content is going to fit the parent and the parent right now is this blue box here that has a maximum width of 600 pixels. Now I'm going to create a second page template. The design will be completely different than this one. The page template content, this block over here will be inside a bigger container. I'll add an image on the top, the page template content in the middle and latest pause below it. I'm going to fast forward this part, but I'm basically going to do the same. I'm going to drag out another extra page template block and I'm going to place all the elements inside it. This is the design. So here's the image. Here's the page template content. As you see, I've kept this time the container, which is 1200 pixels max width and the latest pause here below. So this is my page template one, I'm just gonna hide it. And this is page template two, hide it too. So now just click on export to WordPress and install your theme. Theme has been installed and now I'll show you how to apply this page template to any WordPress page. So I've created a page, this is a new page. I'm just gonna name it page one. I'll create several and to apply the first page template, go to page attributes, template. Right now, default template is selected, but here I can see that I have page template one and page template two. So I'm going to select page template one. Just to let you know, this might be slightly different if you're using other WordPress versions, like for example, go to Merck, but to apply any page template, you should search for page attributes. All right. So page template one, select this and I'm just going to click on publish. First thing is I'm just going to preview this page. So I'll right click open link in a new tab and this is the page. I'm going to go back to themes generator so we can compare. So this is the design in themes generator. And as you see back to WordPress page, there's no content here. There's just a page title. That's because we haven't added any page content. 
as you see, this is empty. So let's just add some text like that and then just click on update. I'm going to refresh this page and see how we have text. So you can change the color of the title and also the text. First, let's go with the content and you can do it here in WordPress editor. Okay. In this version, I'm going to click on this icon. I'm going to toggle the toolbar and just select the text and add a text color. So as I have a dark background, I'm just going to select it to be white. You change the text color using the text editor, but if you're using a different version, then this might look a bit different. So click on update and let's refresh the site. Okay, first step done. And now to change the title, you do this in customize. Go to main options and here you change the page title color. Let's make it white too. You can also change the title size. Let's bring it down to 18. And also you can change the font. So let's click on this. If you're happy with it, click on publish and close the customizer. Also to let you know that you don't have to always show the title of the page. So if you want to get rid of this, let's get back to our back end. And if I scroll down here, I have page extra options. So show the page title in the front end. Click on no. Let's click on update. And that's it. So now I'm going to create another page. Name it page two. Same thing. I'm going to click on page template one and I'm going to add more text. Okay. I want my text white too. So same thing. I want to hide and click on publish. Let's visit this new page is page number two. And as you see, I added more content here. So this was page number one and this is page number two. So as you guys see, you can apply this page template to as many pages as you want. I'm going to create a third page. Okay. I'm going to click on add new. And in this case, I'm going to use this second page template. First of all, I'm just going to click on publish and I'm going to visit this page. Here you go. So this is empty right now, but same thing. I'm just going to paste, sorry, I'm going to paste some content and click on update, refresh, and you see all the content here. Here I have my latest pause. So if I want to show the latest pause, then I'm going to click on customize, search for the latest pause block one and choose a category. And here's where you edit everything related to this latest pause. So for example, pause count, let's bring it down to three. And as you see, just three are showing. So just click on publish and close it. Same thing, you can create a fourth page and apply any of these templates. Remember, you can add as many page templates as you want. And whatever you place here is your dynamic content that will change. As you can see in page number two, this one over here, and page number one. I hope this tutorial is helpful, so don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of the videos that we published in this channel. Thank you guys for watching.